Pet Pals TV continuing with Stewie and now his next new best friend. That's me. That's me. <laughs> Tom Duck. And we're talking medicine, flea medicine, and medicine for parasites, correct? Correct. And why we need to go to a vet. You know, and parasites are a constant problem yes. for pets, for the families uh. that own the pets. And so we've got to talk about it a lot. And we know that people want to save money. And what do we do when we want to save money? We hit the grocery store, we hit the big box store, we go online. Probably not the best idea to shop for something like an important parasite prevention oh without having some medical recommendations okay. behind it. And let's keep in mind that parasites are medical issues, okay? Yeah. So we should have proper medical education on it. I don't know of most folks at any big box store who are going through parasitology, mm -hmm. who understand flea life cycles or even tick life cycles. and. The parasites are all different, so you don't know what does Stewie need here mm -hmm. in central Indiana? What do our viewers need out in the Rocky Mountains? What do they need on the East Coast? Is it the same as what Stewie gets? Okay, so check with your vet. Make sure that, well, obviously you're, it's your vet, you trust him or her. Mm -hmm. And the, the pricing should, you're saying a vet's not out to take stuff out of your wallet. No, not at all. In fact, let's keep in mind that the majority of veterinarians in the United States are local small business owners, okay? okay? They're gonna buy 100 units of some parasite prevention. They're not buying 100,000. So there's a scale right there. Yes, we're not gonna get the same pricing mm -hmm. that you can in a big box store. But knowing that you've got those medical records there. Mm -hmm. So if you go back, hey doc, what did I get last time? Because it worked really well. Oh, yeah. You don't have to guess at it. And there's the other thing, you, there's a medical record. So mm -hmm. you don't have to go, boy, because the other day I was, I was trying, I can't remember what I gave Stewie last but you've got all the records. We've got Noah's. the records. We can tell you. We can tell you what it's, you know, whether it worked, whether it didn't right. work, but based on our conversations. Um, and we know your pet, okay? The guy at the grocery store doesn't know your pet. So some of these products, even though they're very safe, right. need to be used with care in certain animals. Okay. Beware, be cautious, uh, uh, be frugal, and be going to your vet. Well, I think be communicative with your vet. Be open with your vet. Hey, doc, I'm not sure I can afford that. Okay. What other options do we have? And we can start talking about that. All right, very good. Okay. Well, <laughs> okay. He says, okay, too. Thank you very much. Tom Doc, as always, pleasure. a pleasure. Mm -hmm. And we expect, we really appreciate your yeah. expert opinion. Where's your paw? <laughs> He's getting jealous because <laughs> I'm shaking Tom's hand. We're, we'll be back with more on Pet Pals TV. <laughs>